Hey guys, what is up? And today we are here with another episode of Minecraft Plugin Developing Guide. So, last episode, uh, this is basically what we created. And, um, I did say last episode that we would continue on, uh, as you know, we had hello and the hi, but I didn't do anything with hi. So, we're actually going to create a new project, and you can basically name this whatever you want. I will explain what we're going to do before I do it, just to give you guys an idea what you should name it. Uh, it would be basically like an anti-plugin finder. Like, if you guys would go on my server and you try to do, like, slash, uh, question mark, you know, like, all those things would show a server's plugin. Uh, yeah, they are all disabled, and they have a custom message from Unity. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a no plugin. So I guess that's what we can name it if we hit finish. Uh, so you will have your normal stuff. You will have to import uh, your build path again. So just go to configure build path, spigot, hit OK. There you go. Uh, we need our plugin.yml. We will copy that from here, paste it in here. No, not in main Java. We have to paste it. Paste, select, sure, whatever. All right. So uh, you want to do the same thing that you did before. Create a package, me dot devin underscore five four three two one. And you want to create one class, and we will name this main just as before, since it's only one class. So we have another main, and uh, we will actually just want to copy this entire thing. Uh, just hit copy and we will put it over here so we are going to name this plugin um, let's name it no plugin actually yeah we'll, we'll, we'll rename the class as no plugin so all you gotta do is just say class and then hit rename type oh wait no Yeah, you have to rename the unit. Yeah, yeah, what am I saying? <laughs> Alright, so now we have no plugin. And uh, you can keep all this the same. It automatically gets the version and the name, so you never have to change this. You can always just copy paste your overrides. And uh, the boolean, we basically can just do the same thing, but uh, remember there are no slashes in this. So if you wanted to disable dash question mark, all you would do is just put a question mark. Boom, and now it is disabled with your custom message. So let's say we wanted to disable that. We want to disable, uh, ooh, what else are some viewing plugins? I don't even know. Why did it do that? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. All right. Um, what are some other plugin viewing things? Uh, yeah, PL, slash PL, and then... There's also slash plugin or slash plugins, yeah. And get rid of that, boom. All right. So now we have these three different things, and we want to put them in the plugin.yml as well. So we will just put question mark uh, pl. I like to capitalize all my things in here just uh, so it doesn't interfere with anything else plugins and it will say uh, we'll just call it we'll just call it no plugin we'll put that on all of these there we go and we want to change the main class to uh, no plugin remember to do that or literally nothing will work all right, there we go. Let's hit save. Now let's give it a custom message. So let's let's show something new to you guys. So if you want to do p dot get name, I tried to do this last episode, but it didn't work right. So p dot get name, it basically does player, and then it finds the player's name. 
And so what we want to do is we want to do Devin. And we'll put a uh, question mark. And actually, let's put a uh, let's put chat color before it. So it names it names P. And then it we'll do Devin question mark and then plus chat color dot uh dark we'll just go with the uh, dark red then we need to put a space so it's not light next to this why why are you trying to see our plugins <laughs> and we can just copy that for every single one of them and it's basically it will ask whoever you are since I'm Devin it would ask me uh, why are you trying to look at our plugins? That's that's not good. That's not good for us. <laughs> okay, we need to disable that because I don't know why that placed. All right, boom. So now we have our three commands: pl, plugins, and uh, question mark. So please, in the comment section below, tell me what um, we should add. And remember to add uh, all these brackets down here. I believe so at least yeah we're gonna have to I don't know how many we need to add alright I'm just gonna keep adding until it stops giving error messages okay what does it say there shouldn't be that many Think if we remove the return true. Okay, what's what's wrong with this? Come on. Why? Why is that expected? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what we did wrong. So we have one bracket and then two brackets. So that should be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What am I doing? And then we'll add a return value. Wait, no, no, no. Not a void. What am I doing? We will add a return value down here. No, I just hit void again. What am I doing? Wait. Change to constructor. Wait, what do we have over here? Because this is confusing me. A public boolean, yeah. Why why is that not a boolean? A public boolean on command. Oh oh. And then add a return statement. Yes, finally. Holy crap. Alright, alright. We figured it out. We figured it out. I was so questioned about that. So uh, always make you have your return true, or uh, every time that you send in the message, it will literally send your message back to you, which is really stupid, but I don't know how to fix it, besides doing return true. So yes, if you have uh, your plugin .yml set up, oh, and remember we got to rename it to no plugin, or it'll save as a uh, high plugin, and it'll be all stupid. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's save this, save. And now we are ready, I believe. No errors if we uh, hit save. Nope. We are all good to go. All right, so remember to export your build to next. And we have our old high.jar saved in there. So let's name this new one. No plugin. And just hit finish. And why did we have a jar creation? Resource is out of sync with file system. Hmm. Alright, well, I will see you guys on the server. Alright, guys, so we are here on the server. This is uh, my test server, as you guys have seen before. And uh, just ignore what's in my inventory, the wardrobe thing. This is a, uh, a wardrobe plugin I'm working on for the Spigot websites. So, yeah, uh, we're here on our server, and let's actually test our plugin. So, if we do slash question mark, it actually just shows up with our command again so 
I did put the return true in there, and I actually tried for about uh, 20 minutes running through it, trying to figure out why it sends it back, but I don't know. It, it's, it, everything runs perfectly as it should. I don't know why it sends it back, but still, it disables that plugin for all people who are trying to, you know, cheat into your server and find all your stuff. So yeah, you basically now have a disabled, uh, plugin system. You can do slash help as well, and like, you can disable help, and uh, as you can see right there is no plugin. That's ours. <laughs> But yeah, so I hope this helped out a lot of you guys. Um, please leave in the comment section below what I should help you guys out with because I literally have no ideas. I have none whatsoever. I have no idea what to develop or code for you guys. So yeah. Uh, also, if you guys are a player of Unity, this is a sneak peek at the new shop. Ba -da -da. <laughs> but yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to nuke the like button with the keyboard. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.